Sometimes you got to go back to your roots. Sporting KC's Jaleel Anababa has lived stateside his whole life, but he's very proud of his Nigerian heritage. Now, he even sought out learning the language himself. And this week, Sporting Spotlight sees Crystal Lampett sit down with Jaleel to talk culture, family, and life in Kansas City. Sporting Kansas City culture has permeated the city, but what goes on off the pitch? Today I'm talking to Jaleel Anibaba, number 23. Welcome. How are you doing today? Doing great. Thanks for having me. I'm so glad to be talking to you. Now, you have a pretty interesting background, Nigerian heritage. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, uh, yeah. So my dad is from Lagos, Nigeria. Okay. Um, grew up in a large family. He's the youngest of 10 kids. And, yeah, you know, family and culture is is everything to us. Absolutely. And did you live there at all? I never lived there, no. So, but growing up with parents from there, you learned a lot about Nigerian culture. So your parents made sure that you learned the language. Yeah, I well, actually, I kind of sought out learning the really? language. Yeah. Um, my dad kind of taught us the basics when we were kids, and then when I started to get a little bit older, I, I had an itch to learn, and, you know, from there, my dad and I kind of worked together to for me to learn the language, yeah. Okay, well, I love that you speak Nigerian. Could you teach me a few words? Sure. How would we say something like, I love Kansas City? Okay, so first of all, I, we speak the Yoruba dialect. So, Yoruba dialect, okay. Yeah, so if I say, I love Kansas City, Mofera, you love Kansas City. Okay, slower. So, slower? Mofera. So, Mo. Mo. Fera. Fera. Ilu, Ilu, Kansas City. Kansas City. Yeah. Mu, Ferro, Ilu, Kansas, Kansas City. Mu, Ferro, Ilu, Kansas City. Yeah, there yes! you go. You got it. You're a good teacher. Yeah, your accent's pretty, your accent's pretty good. Mu, Ferro, Ilu, Kansas City. There you go.